Hello friends! In this video we will tell you about traffic inspector configuration for Windows 2012 R2 using NET through routing and remote access service. Traffic inspector installation process is very similar to the installation of any other program, so there is no need to pay attention to it. As soon as installation process is completed, you can immediately run an administration console. As an administration console starts up, first of all you have to set the server for connection. If the server is local, the correspondent field must be left blank. Otherwise, you have to enter IP address or hostname. Then you have to choose user authorization type – Windows or Traffic Inspector authorization. In case you run Traffic Inspector for the first time, only Windows authentication is available. For this purpose, the administrator's group is created in the program. It is populated by several local users logged into administration console so you can log in using current Windows account. The program runs in demo mode by default. It has some restrictions. That is why you will be prompted to activate Traffic Inspector. You can enter the data from the reseller or activate 30 days trial period. Activation process uses internet connection and there must be no difficulty. You just have to choose the activation type. If you use the data from the reseller, then enter product ID and PIN. Otherwise, choose the trial activation. The next step is configuring of the traffic inspector. First of all, you have to set traffic inspector mode, getaway mode or single interface mode. In the first case, all network traffic goes through the traffic inspector. All program functions are available in this mode. Single interface mode requires traffic inspector to only have one network interface that is connected to the internal network. Under single interface mode, Traffic Inspector can only be used for traffic accounting and as a web proxy, SOX proxy. If you use Traffic Single Interface mode, the external getaway is needed. Let's choose the first option. Then tick the external network interfaces connected to the Internet and the local ones connected to the local networks. Please note that in this case NET will be set on the server. Then apply the settings and wait for the completion of the process. Thus, you successfully set the main configuration of the traffic inspector. The next step is user database creation. There are two different ways to add users – manually or automatically by importing them from Active Directory or by local network scanning. The second way is more handy because it allows you to enter a big amount of users rather fast. Let's start user importing. Importing can be done by the wizard. First of all, you have to choose the import source. There are two options network scanning or Active Directory. The first option gives you an opportunity to add users with authorization by IP or MAC addresses as well as by the combination of these two parameters. The second option is creating users with authorization using Windows account. To import the network scanning result, you have to run the network scan. You can use one of the available subnets of the local network. During the scanning process, the program will collect the data about devices connected to the local network. As the scanning process is completed, you have to choose the computer or computers that were discovered and the authorization and access types. User importing from Active Directory is implemented in a very similar way. You just have to choose the domain that you want to extract the data from. It can be a current domain as well as any other one. The basic setup of Traffic Inspector is completed. To make sure it is done, you can go to the computer, which was added as the user with authorization by a combination of IP and MAC addresses. Then you switch on Use a Proxy Server option, enter an IP address of Traffic Inspector server and port, default port is 8080, then you can try to open any website. As you see, everything works fine. Basic setup of Traffic Inspector in Windows 2012 R2 using NET through routing and remote access service is successfully completed. Today we have demonstrated the easiest way to set up Traffic Inspector. We will explain you how to deal with more complex examples in following tutorials. Thank you for watching.